Okay, we're going to do this again. I did the entire video and forgot to turn the mic on. So, uh, I've got about eight minutes to uh, do this, uh, this video and hopefully it won't take that long. Now, where we left uh, last uh, vid was, or one of those videos was, we had made the Bluetooth speaker box. Now what we're going to do is something called a working drawing. There are two types of working drawing. They're called orthographic projections. The first one uh, is what the Americans use, and that is called the first angle projection. The first angle projection draws this view on this side. Crazy, but actually not. What it means is we're looking at this, we're projecting it through because it's an orthographic projection, and we draw it here. We look at the top, we project it through, we draw the top view underneath and the vice versa, uh, the, the base on the top and the left view on here. Now Autodesk is American and that means that first angle and inches and things like that are default. And we're going to have to change those because otherwise we're going to get all confused because we're going to do something called third angle. So the way we change it straight away, and it's the first thing you should do, is you collect, uh, select your name or the name that you have chosen to call yourself. You're going to select Preferences. You're going to wait for that menu to open up. Uh, drop down General, just in case you haven't already. You're going to select Drawing. You're going to select ISO. Your units are inherited from the design, so they should be, all be uh, millimeters if you've been using millimeters. The sheet size, well, the biggest one, the biggest sheet that we can print is A3, so let's just choose A3, and that Thing there was first angle we're gonna change that to third angle and the text height I've left it at uh, 3.5 mil but you might want to change that if you're a bit uh, uh, short-sighted you might want to make that bigger okay once you've made those changes you can actually um, go straight in and apply that but there is one more thing that I wouldn't mind you doing uh, just makes life easier is you've got Y up okay Y up in general under the general tab is again is quite an American standard and um, our machines at school don't really understand that they understand Z is up so we're gonna select Z is up and we're gonna apply and then we're gonna press OK now we've got to save our work I've already saved it because of course I've done this video before uh, without the voice and you might not have saved it so let's save that because this is where fusion likes to crash most and we're going to go up here we're going to look at the design and we're going to click that and go to drawing from design so I went to there drop down drawing from design and what we're going to do is we're going to have the full assembly so that's everything we've drawn if you've made a mistake and you've hidden it it's going to draw it okay so you need to erase those mistakes to erase those mistakes you right click the mistake and you remove you do not delete it won't work you remove that Okay, we're going to create a new drawing from scratch. It's an ISO standard, that's what we said, and the units are millimeters. We're going to do it on A3, and we're going to press OK. And hopefully that opens up nicely, and if it doesn't, well, that's fusion for you, and there's luckily you saved it. Okay, now, this is the scale. It's quite small. I'm not too keen on that scale, so why don't we change that scale from half to one, and that would be one-to-one -one scale. And because we're going to draw a top view and we're doing third angle, that means we need to leave a space here where the top view is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the front view here. And then I am going to press OK. Now, we know there's tubes inside here. We know there's a little square for the circuit. We know that this goes all the way around uh, for the batteries, but we can't see it. So what I'm going to do, double click that, and it's going to bring this back up. And this time we're going to actually select hidden. Okay, and the only reason I did that is so I can show you that you can change things afterwards. Uh, we are going to show the hidden view there. And then we're going to close. Now we're going to project. So let's go to the projected views. That's up in the top left. Click this one. Click this once. And let's move that up. And then we're going to go to the side, to the right side. And we're going to move that across. Now ideally... The distance of this away from the front view should be the same as the distance of the plan. That's the top view away from the front view. That makes things nice and neat. And of course, uh, neat. And of course it standardizes it and that makes life easier. And I'm going to press enter or return if you've got a Mac. Okay, so 
We've got a lot of hidden detail here. It's getting quite difficult to see. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to turn the hidden detail off on this one. And I'm just going to try something that I've just seen. I'm going to double click this one. No, it did nothing to change it. Okay, and as you can see, we can see the feet. The feet are underneath. That's why they're dotted. You see, they're hidden. And these are the tubes and they're underneath and that's dotted and there's the battery case and that's dotted and so on so on so if it's a, a dotted line or a dashed line sorry that is going to be hidden detail and the solid lines are the things you can see right we're going to have one more view we're going to have an isometric view so i'm going to click this i'm going to click that and i'm going to drag it up there now it is rather large uh, so we're going to press enter or return i'm going to double click that and i'm going to change this one back to two and that will break it down by half but we're also going to make that shaded um, and that should make it a little bit better looking I'm going to shift that over there and that gives us a good reference drawing okay now the most important part of the working drawing apart from the standardization that uh, you have chosen either first or third is to start putting dimensions the great thing here is that Fusion allows you to automatically put dimensions. So that means we're going to click the Smart Dimension tool, or D, and then all we need to do is choose those points. And Fusion will understand exactly what it is I want to measure. So if I zoom in and click that one, that's me putting the middle mouse button and dropping that down. And then we can actually see that well, that 94 from the 100 leaves 6, which gives you 3 millimeters there, 3 millimeters there. Does that mean I need to measure that and that? No, because we can take it from there. But it might be safer to actually say that, that it is 3 mil. So why don't I just do that now? Or instead of doing this, which is going to make life look a little bit complicated, I can delete that. what is going on okay delete that and I can actually add a detail so to do that I've gone to the text and I'm gonna click that and then I can actually say MDF 3 mm okay and that that just means that all the material there is gonna be three millimeter MDF let's show you that smart dimension tool again now this one allows me to choose corners but it, if I hover over that circle it also knows that I probably want to do the uh, do the dimension for the actual uh, the tube itself so let's do that so I'm gonna go here uh, I'm gonna find a place where it's a bit neater uh, down there there's one there's two And you shouldn't really have your dimensions in the drawing and you're trying to keep it as neat as possible I've already made a bit of a mess um, but it's just a little bit easier for you to read if you don't have dimensions inside but have dimensions on the outside also you can get confused if you've got a dimension on the inside you don't know is that the model number that you need to print or is that the dimension itself now one thing we don't do is repeat dimensions so if we've already done the 50 for that we don't need to do it for that but what we can do is add a bit of text and say speaker holes are the same okay and that means that I don't need to keep repeating all the dimensions you do need every dimension that would make it better and what you can do is um, add details if you need to you've got a table here you've got a call out you've got symbols that you can use there's lots of things you can do you can even change all the technical detail here so for example I can change that and put a capital S drawing number dates everything else when you've done this you want to save it okay and then you're going to output it now the great thing about this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change that design because they're hinged together if i change this design so let's move this and in fact i'll tell you what let's delete this so no i won't delete it because 
then I might not be able to get it back. Let's just move this out uh, or we'll give it an angle. So let's say that's my design, a little bit weird, but that's the way it is. Now if I go save that, go back into here, you see the little uh, exclamation mark there? Well, that's just saying that the original design has changed and now the drawing is inaccurate. So if I do that, there you go and that updates now that does mean that all these are different because I'm measuring the arc of the front and I'm not measuring the circle of that so that's gonna have to change but the good thing is I can start reassociating things so I can say no let's reassociate it with that but that's gonna take me ages and I don't really want to do that so um, the great thing about using this as opposed to any other um, any other uh, piece of uh, uh, application um, or CAD is that they talk to each other the design and the drawing talk to each other and it uh, prevents you having to do too much work now I have gone very fast over that luckily it is a video so do feel free to pause and play that again and of course you've got a teacher uh, available to you if you need help thank you very much